Uh, so sorry about uh, this week and last week, sir. No it was a bit busy at work. No problem. It's okay. Yeah, last time we have completed object menu, I think, isn't it? Yes, sir. Oh, what about layout, we did. layout menu? Uh, no, we didn't do. Okay, so we, we finished did. table and object, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Object is finished. Yes, sir. Okay. So layout is layout is left now. Okay. Yeah. After layout, we'll see the the uh, what's it inside page of the book. We can see. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Sir. new document okay now under layout menu right now we can see we are we are having pages on this one right now one page i'm having yeah. If I want to add pages now, we can add pages. Add pages in the sense only one page it will add. Okay. If you want multiple pages to be added, you have to go to the layout pages and insert pages now. Okay. Okay. Now it will ask you how many pages you want to insert right now. So let's make it as a three pages on this one. Now it is asking where to insert it. After page number two or else after page number one or else before page number one or else starting point of the document or ending point of the document okay, okay sir. so i'll take it yeah. after only after after second i want my uh, what the pages to be inserted do you want to leave yeah. with the parent yes or no so we have to define this yes only maximum why because we connected with the parent only yeah okay so we'll we'll keep this as a parent only once we click okay now we can see three pages has been inserted okay sir. okay so yeah. you add page and insert page. Small difference is there in this one. Now example, okay. I'm creating one object on this one. That is ellipse. Let me select this object and apply color. Let me take it one more object. Let's apply red pink color. One more object. Let's apply red color. One more object. Let's apply blue color. Now here I'm keeping two. Here I'm yeah. adding one more rectangle shape on this one. Okay. With the green color. And one more polygon shape on the pink. Okay, this one. And one more shape, now uh, nothing but number of sides, I'll make it five and accept it. Let's apply the color for this one as yellow only, same. Okay, sir. Okay. Similarly, this one again will go with the pink color only. Right now, <coughs> Okay, so we have inserted the pages and we have uh, what is it added some pages. New page, uh, first page, I doesn't have any anything on this. One. Okay. Okay. Now, example, if I want to move a particular page, right now, which page is selected that we need to see here? Can you see page number three? Yeah, yeah. Page number three is selected. Now is as uh, what is the layout option? Move now, move pages. It is asking where to move. After first page, after second page. A third page is third page only after second third will come after five yeah. pages or after four pages i want before first page i want to insert this one now so let's make it as a four and make it as one otherwise simple option St at start of the start of the document okay sir now current yeah. document only if you want other document other dog other uh, other document you will take other document also okay let's click okay now now see what happened the first page came in place of third page and this came on first page now. 
Yeah. Yes, sir. Automatically it has shifted. Similarly, what we can do, we can drag and drop this one up and down like this also. We can move up and down here now. What happened now, you see? Oh. It has oh, yeah. the position right. of this object right now, we can see. Yeah. Like this also, we can do it. Manually, we can drag and drop it for moving your pages, we can see. Okay, yes. so this is lay layout option and movement option we are having and make it duplicate copy. Duplicate copy in the sense right now, third we are having. I want to make a duplicate copy of the same page. Now see what happened. Third page. And it came a copy or copy of this one. One more copy. Now. Yeah. Let's go back again and select the page number, uh, this one now, right now. Page number three. Now go to the layout option. Move. Uh, sorry. Delete page. Uh, so delete page now. What happened now? Delete page in the sense it is asking. Second and third you want or all pages you wanted. Second and third I want to delete now. See, just to confirm now. Those, those two pages got deleted. So I'll undo. Okay. So get back this one. Again back. These are the pages option and uh, print spread, print spread in the sense whatever the area we are having and sometimes sometime outside object also. This area yeah. also will print on this one. Okay, otherwise if okay. you don't give the print spread option, the outside portion will not print. Only this white area will be printed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Next, uh, apply, uh, so what is it, page to parent now. Means apply parent to pages now. Means something if you have not taken initially as a parent page means which is connected to the parent page, the later we can convert it to convert as a connection to the page now. Page transitions, okay. now we can choose a page transition like if you want any animation, we can apply the animation to that particular pages now, see. Select okay. this one and say apply to all spread on this one. So means same effect will be applied to all the pages. Yeah, yes sir. Okay. One minute. Yeah. Hello. Hi, sir. Uh, busy now, sir. So now under this one, we are having once, uh, let's say example, fast display, we can say typical display, fast display, one more option we are having, let's see. Okay, over 20 area now. output we are having on this one so let's see the output option this okay output here now here we have option one second flat run preview pre-flight let's see pre flight interactive option and let's say page transitions right now it will go to that same page you know in this one let's see page transition only let's see let's say we will get an output on this one so you can see the output here what output you are getting let's go yeah. and choose this option uh, quality you will get this all let me see one more option in this one preview we will get it uh, so on the out of this one so let's me see in the file option preview one second publish online right This is the preview window, I think. One second, let me see this.
In this one, you can see the preview. Now you can see. Just play this one now. Once you play this one, you can see animation will be played on this one now. Okay. One second. One more option. What is this? Clear preview. Maybe one more. coming here only. Let me close this one. Mostly this is the option. Yes, sir. Export. Once we, let me see the export option also once. Video print and we have interactive option. We can use the interactive option on this one. Okay, we can save this interactive media from this one. Okay, so we have interactive options. So they'll just say desktop, name this as transition. Okay, desktop and save this one now. As a PDF file, we are saving and we want all animation and everything to be applied on this one now. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, now minimize this one and you can see right now we are having a transition option right now you can see it is opened also yes sir right now you can see yes sir okay when you go to the full screen mode you can see the page view also once again Full screen mode you can see the preview also okay use your arrow key maybe it has not applied the animation one second let me see once in design section go to the windows interactive option paste transition right now we okay. have different option we can apply this different option and we want horizontal or vertical we can see this information Okay, and quality, do you want fast and slow? You can see the fast and slow. Let me make it slow on this one and preview this one. Okay. okay. It's uh, showing the preview on this one now. Apply to all spread. One second, where we have gone earlier. Export as in PDF option. Normally, animation will be like this only. The animation what we are seeing. Export option yeah. will give you a preview. We will give you preview in this option. What is it? Export as a PDF. Select this interactive or transition option. Save this. Yes to replace. And see okay. uh, view. View and all these options available in this one. Okay. And paste transition from document you want or any other option you want. You can take the this from this one now. Okay. If you don't want okay. the initial one, you can have a split option also in this one. Or else from document itself. Okay. Now, okay. Now, once you go to the full screen mode, use your arrow key to preview this one. Okay. Right now, the timing is a little fast, so it is not showing that option. Okay. Let me close this one. So this is what uh, animation we are having. We can see the preview where when we final this final the file again. So, okay. Okay. One uh, we'll see this one in the uh, coming up class also when we finish it. We'll see this preview also. Okay. 
Now next option margins and columns right now we are having margins and columns how many columns you want you can decide right now we don't have any columns we can make it two columns can you see three columns yes, sir. two columns we want it now space between the columns we can apply spaces also but right now it is not needed but whenever you are inserting the text we need that uh, so this uh, what's it columns and all let's see new document again Okay, let me put some text inside this one first. Okay, let's go to the Google. Okay, let me take some information. Copy. Mm -hmm. Let me go back. So I'm taking the information from here. Copy. Okay, take the text box. Okay, text box. Just click yes. on the corner. This one. When you click on the corner, what happen? It will take this exactly same size actually. So paste is paste this one. Now. Right now we have this information. I am using enter button to paste one more time the same option. Right now we are having multiple uh, means we have only single page. I'll insert multiple pages on this one. Two pages. Now place the cursor, click on this plus sign and go and click on the corner to insert the page. Okay, similarly okay. I'll insert the text again on this one. Go to the down and press enter and paste it again now. Again take the plus sign, plus sign and go and click on the corner on this one to insert the text. Now. Right now we are having a, uh, what's a single column. I want to change this one into multiple columns now. Space bar. Okay. Now let's go to the uh, layout option margins and columns we can decide how many columns you want you can see right now columns has been divided on this one okay how much space you want you can decide the pay as, a, as a option in this one and we can change it now what happened right now it has inserted the page margin and page columns we have we have not inserted the text columns in this one so undo this one yes, sir. okay select this text box now select this box yeah Okay, select this box and go to this option here in this one. We have layout option available in this also. Right now you can see here. This is what text layout option. Mul multiple columns we can see. Here we can see text is divided into multiple columns. That is page columns initially we need to insert. Here after inserting the text we can insert <coughs> a number of columns here. Spaces okay. we can insert and decrease. Insert uh, is what's it? Apply the space and remove the space. Okay, now like this we can apply okay. and other 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 properties that is paragraph alignment and everything you can apply as it is. <coughs> select this one, so to use control A to select this whole text and apply justify. Okay. Text. So we, you can see nicely we have text on this one. Newspaper, yeah, has yeah. The, newspaper will have this type of information, magazine will have this type of information only. Okay. I'll decrease the margin, we don't want this much of margin, little bit margin is enough in this one. Right now we can see. Yes, sir. Okay, so all the columns except this first page, we have all the other columns we are having this one. So we need to insert on all the columns, also all the pages now. So select this one and apply number of columns here also. Same here, again go and apply the number of columns here. Now we can see three columns here and three columns here. Now let's insert the text now in this one. What I'm doing uh, instead of this one, I have applied on the first page. Now delete these two pages now. Now, when I zoom this one, now if I insert the page now, select this one, click on this plus sign and come back and click here. Now, what happened when we insert this one? Again, it is taking a single column only. There's no ta not taking two columns here. So two columns, we can yeah. insert t three columns again. Now click again on this one and go and apply the option this one. Again, insert the three columns for this one also. Right? Yeah. So this is how the columns can be inserted in this one. Okay. And <clears throat> example, we yes. want to insert the picture on this one. So double click on this one, uh, enter button two times. So we have some space in this one. So we can apply image inside this one. So go to the file option, place embed, select one picture and select one picture and say open now. What happened? It has inserted inside this page now. Okay. Right now we have an image, yes. image on this one now. Okay. So double click. Where is the picture? Let's zoom out and see. 
Okay, so we cannot see the picture in this anymore now. Select this one. Try to increase the size first and increase the height also. Okay, now try yeah. to adjust the spacing spacing in between now. Let me increase the size. Zoom out. Why just uh, just for adjustment purpose we are doing this one now. Yes, sir. because the picture size is very very big that's the reason it is showing like this now what you need to yeah just click this option and decrease the size by using alt and shift in this one okay only frame we have decreased it now we want image also should be decreased on this one. okay select this one and try to grab it and place it on this area insert this one and try to grab this one small size okay alt and shift to decrease the size decrease the size from here also now we can see the image in this one zoom and double click on this one and try to decrease the size of the image okay select both frame and text and try to move it and place it on this one zoom and see now you can see yes sir Okay, what we need to do again, double click on this one and make selection of this, uh, what do we say, image and this one, try to decrease the size of this one. Now. now we can see, again double click on the image and decrease the image size also. Okay. Right now we can see, I'm inserting the text and image on this one. Okay, try to move this down. So. image image I'm moving down and so now we can see right now we are having image so automatically what happened the text is balancing was on this and now so let me increase the size of the image a little bit more okay now double click on the image also and try to bring it down now we want uh, what do we say this text has to be balanced on this one now let me reduce the box size also because it should be inside the page now we can see yeah double click and try to decrease the image size and then select this one frame and try to decrease the frame size also okay so everything i have done on this one now what we want it has to be uh, i mean so the text has to be flown as uh, surrounding to this one now apply this option now what happened now see text is coming over here now i don't want like that i yeah. want it should go below this one now see text is coming below this one now so automatically wherever okay. you present it now see automatically the text will flow according to this one now yeah yeah move this text select this two and try to move this down here okay like this we can present it now okay so this is how okay. uh, this is how this text information can be placed and it can be given margins and columns can be defined in this one okay yeah even margins margins in this in this pink color area we can remove and we can apply okay we can insert it now if you want you can apply this more value now see what happened it is getting compressed Again, it's 0.5. Okay. So having the same value. Cancel this one now. So this is what margins. Next option is there. The, what is that? Ruler guides in this one. So we can take the guides on this one now. Let me take the new document so that we can see the guideline where it is inserting. New page. Only one page we are having. Let's insert this layout guides, ruler guides, and we can take one guide on this one. Position now, five percent or ten percent now. Example, we'll say twenty-five percent. I want to insert the guide on this one. Okay. okay. Let me insert one guide. Now we can see this one. Okay. Let me insert one more now. Uh, so layout option, ruler guide. No, no. Uh, right now it is not inserting it it is defining the color for the ruler actually that one right now we yeah. can see it is inserted now it has changed this one now see yeah okay like this we can yes, yeah. change the color uh, color of the ruler on this one so we go to the layout option the ruler setup we can change whatever we want we can change the color now pink color i want for this one vertical one yeah 
okay so we can change it now drag and drop this new one you will get as a pink color on this one. earlier one will not will not change but this new one will change on this one, okay our uh, changes will be okay. found on new one like this we can change if you don't want any more this color guides and all we can clear this one create guide will apply some okay. value and we can insert it how many uh, how many guides you want you can insert the guide on this one see now yeah simple option for this one select and delete all so select and delete now let's zoom out and see we are inserting this one layout create guides now it is showing the preview see yeah similarly columns how many columns you want you can insert the number of columns then spacing and everything inside the margin okay. you want or total page you want we can insert it as according to this one now see okay it has inserted this all so this yeah. is regarding your guidelines and all Le create alternate layout alternate layout in the sense if you don't want this layout if you want you can take an alternate layout also for this one. h and d okay. so if you want you can change this uh, size also for that one you can choose the size also nothing but it is preserving one uh, one layout for your page we can say yeah yeah okay okay next sir. option liquid layout now generally this is used for the kindle books okay now example auto yeah. we are having we can use the auto fit option and liquid means automatically it will take us in liquid flow on this one now okay page we can say. okay next option yes sir let me take one page now file new option okay under new we have to give this size on this one what size we want it here we have different options we can choose the different options let's go to the pixels option scroll down and see all these options available we can apply this all options once okay. everything is done just click okay create this document okay now we can see we are having this option now scalable recenter object uh, what is it create based on guides on this one okay yeah means nothing but scalable in the sense it is uh, this one liquid only on this one means automatically based on the uh, so means uh, screen size it should automatically scale this one that is this one now okay we can apply like this okay sir okay next option uh, first page next page you can go to multiple pages when we have multiple pages we can see now as if we are going from here to, to that particular page we can go directly from here also layout previous page now layout last page layout first page like this we can go to particular page we can see. okay and one was well, so when we ask uh, so when we go to the go to pages we here we, we we should define what page number we want to go i want to go to the page number four now let's see we are inside page number four now okay so sir. means we can go to that uh, that particular page by providing the number on this one now go back in yeah. the sense it will go one by one step back on this one now see. Okay, sir. okay so next option is now nothing but numberings now example when we want to insert any number on this one now where to yeah. insert go to the master page okay take the number okay and insert the number on this box now example i'll insert number one on this one normal num numerical number also yeah select this one go to the layout option here we have table table of content on this one yeah one minute uh, Edit option. One minute now. Where is this option? Yeah, insert. Layout only. One second. layout option
type option yeah in the type option we are having insert now insert in the in this one and bullets and page numbers we are having and we are having yeah. the, uh, what is this option also one second insert markers and page number in this one so what we have now here we have option that we can insert the page number on this one now so we can have current page all pages and all these things select this one then go to the type option okay now insert option the marker we can say okay we can insert uh, what do we say next pages current page we can say we can insert the page number current page second let me select this text we can insert the current page number also now so once we can say right now it has inserted alphabetical order so don't worry we can change this yeah. now now come back into the main page now so alpha in this page is now what happened now here we cannot see any page numbers on this one see there is no pages inserted on this one now. so what to do go to this uh, layout option page numbers and options now we can insert what type of number you want i want 002 on this one to be inserted on this one now. so now go to this uh, again this one double click on this one select this page okay alt and drag to insert sorry one second okay select this one alt and uh, oh, zoom on this one okay alt and drag to make a copy of this one now okay now copy i'm putting this one on the right side of this one. so what we have given here we have given the option called current page number so i'll change this one to again insert okay so marker and say page number next page number in this one yeah okay. now let's go back into the main pages now on this one so we can see 001 automatically you can see all the pages we got the numbers on this one. 002 003 yeah. 004 and 005 and 006 on this one right now it has inserted over here we we need to insert on the right side right okay so now yes, example sir. if i insert a new pages what will happen let's see uh, example insert pages let's give three pages on this one again accept it now see what happened 7 8 9 on this one. everything came yeah. from right side only clear this point yes yes sir so this is how this page pages can be inserted in pages can be applied and page numbers can be applied by using the layout and page number here whatever 002 we have given in place of this one i want roman numbers now see what happened everything will convert into roman numbers now okay layout one second options type option insert marker current page number okay, let me make a copy on this one so we have two options same in this one so i am deleting this one copy and paste on this one now. and bring on to the canvas here now. on the right side also. okay select this one and try to put this one also right side of this one right now we can see select again on this one uh one second type b on this one and go back into the master page and we can see we uh, double click on this one and go back to the pages and we can see the pages a b Okay, now we have why because we have inserted multiple times. That's the reason it has taken some different options. Now see, yeah, here it has taken B. Why because manually we have modified this one. We have not inserted through the options. One second, I'll do one thing. I'll yes. take it again on this one. Let's take it multiple pages only directly. Okay, sir. Sorry, one second. New option. Five pages. Okay. now go to the master page okay select this option insert uh, this one marker and right now we don't have anything just to create a text box on this one now. okay okay no need to type anything just to select this text box on this one go to the type uh, so type option insert marker and what we have to say we have to say the page number on this one okay current page number so what happened now a inserted on this one 
Now come back on this side, okay, on this page. One second. Select the second page again. Again, go to the uh, one second. One more text box. We need to create it on this one. Otherwise, you can yeah. make a copy of this one. Copy and paste it on this area. Zoom. Select this one. Go to the type option. Okay, insert option. Marker and check one second. Double click on this one. Type. Insert and say marker and say current page number. We can say current page number or next page number. We can say okay, sir. Let me go and insert again. Type why it is not inserting actually. It will insert the number actually. Yeah, number we have inserted now. One second, let me see. Once zoom out automatically, it will take the number side. Yeah. yeah, one, two, three, maybe two, two. It has inserted. Let's see. Once, yeah, it is taking the numbers directly. See now. Okay, now if you yes, insert new pages also, new pages, let me take five pages again on this one, I accept it, now see this pages numbers also, we got it again, 8, 9 and 10, 11, okay, like this we can got this, yeah, like this we can insert the numbers, now I don't want this number style, now I can change the number style, table numbers now, in place of this one, let's go to the, uh, what do we say, Roman number, lower case on this one, what happened? Can you see? Okay, yes, sir. Uh, lowercase Roman number got changed now. Again, I am changing this number. Yeah. Layout option, number sign change this one. Let me change with the um, uppercase alphabets. Now we can see alphabets, we got it with the uppercase ones. Okay. So is it clear? Yes, sir. So yes. This is what layout option we, we can say. And table of content in the sense, whenever you are creating any table, if you want to create any style for this one, you can create a style for this one you have to give the name and you have to create a style already we have created one style that is showing over here we can select and we can apply to the table option That's it. okay okay so this is regarding your layout option cut copy paste you already know these options yes sir cut, copy paste okay and one more option is there uh, spell check is uh, spell checking is there in this one and dynamic spell checking is there we can check this one, okay but when we create okay. a, when we when we create an inside page we'll see that time how to check the spelling yeah. okay. Sure. So, uh, so in the coming up class, we'll see uh, that final option that is final in the inside page designing. Okay. Then I'll share all yes, the sir. videos in Cube again. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Right. So, any idea how many classes we'll have still? Next one more class. That's it. Okay. Yeah. After that, okay, sir, sir. after that, anytime if you are having any doubt, just put me a message. I'll connect again. Okay, sir. Sure. So, so tomorrow we're doing even the um page design for the magazine yes inside, inside page. page inside page will design it okay 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 sure sir thank you bye bye, bye.